Five from Italia. I'm in Greece. Finally made it to you. Five from Spain. I'm in Bali. Five in Santorini, Greece. From a beautiful, amazing Tulum. It is Amanda. I want to talk about this because I feel like in our industry, there's two schools of thought. There's the like create a persona online thing. And then there's the be yourself, be yourself, be yourself thing. And they're, they both have truth to them. But I feel like um, I really like the way I've done it. And it really feels good for me what it meant to become Amanda Francis. P.S. That's not my real name. So what did it mean to become Amanda Francis? This is what I want to talk about. I didn't contrive anything. I didn't fake anything. I didn't force anything ever. Becoming me was becoming who I was always meant to be. It was becoming and embodying more of my truth. It was giving myself permission to step into who I always wanted to be. You know what I mean? Who I wished I could be all the time. Who I was when I was confident and bold and self-expressed and joyful and sure and opinionated and all the things I actually am. But I didn't always live as Amanda Francis. I didn't always live this way. Um, there were maybe moments of this, but I became this person. That's why when I teach branding, you know, I call it becoming your brand. I became this person. She is the real me, but I had to let her out. That being said, there's times where you're trying it on, where you're bringing it into your body. A, a couple of people have said, what would Amanda Francis do? I remember seeing back when I found Gabby Bernstein, some people following her saying, what would Gabby do? Um, I remember someone had like a... It wasn't a gift. Like someone had like printed it and like taken a picture of it, like old school. <laughs> it wasn't like on the interwebs. It was on someone's cubicle or something. Like this was so long ago. Um, but it's the same thing. Embodying the energy of someone who has expressed the way you want to be expressed is not you becoming them or imitating them, really. It's you embodying what they represent that you know to be true within you. It's seeing the mirror. Like Gabby, for example, showed me a mirror of I can be confident and I can earn for this work and I can get paid to do what I love. And I show you a mirror of whatever it is I show you a mirror of. You're good enough. You can do this. Your work is of high service. Your work is worthy of massive compensation. We show these mirrors for each other and it helps us to embody the things. But when I was getting my manicure today, I was thinking, I created Amanda Francis. I didn't create it like contriving something false. I created Amanda Francis by letting Amanda Francis fucking out. So here's what happened. Here's what happened. Um, I was, my first website was solutionfocusedcoaching.org and then brilliantandbeautifulconsulting.com. This was in a few months of each other. And then amandafmckinney.org because I was like, no, oh, I just told you my name. My name is Amanda Hi, everyone. My real name is Amanda McKinney. Did you know? Francis is my middle name, but let me get to that. Let me get to how all this happened. So, um, AmandaFMcKinney.org was a life coach on the internet. And how many of you know <laughs> that website doesn't get your attention? So it's Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm at my mom's house. Yeah, I think I've been, I've been wanting to be a coach for... A year and nine months. So at this yes. point, I'm embodying some of these principles of being Amanda, being self-expressed, all these things. This so I'm sitting there and I'm like <laughs> about to pay GoDaddy for AmandaFMcKinney.org again this year or whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck is the name of this website? And I was like, and I was just sitting there and I was like, AmandaM.com, you know, so I'm like, Amanda this, Amanda that. And then I was like, Amanda fucking Francis. I was like, Amanda fucking Francis. I was like, amandafrancis.com. And I searched, amandafrancis.com was $7. I bought it right then. And I was like, amandafrancis.com. I am fucking Amanda Francis. But no one had ever called me Amanda Francis, ever. That's just my middle name. But something about it felt like, oh, that's it. You know what I'm talking about? Those moments where you're like, oh, that's it. There's something there. There's something to it. Something about Amanda Francis had something to it. And I was like, huh, amandafrancis.com. And I almost bought, here's a little story for to help you in the future. I almost bought amandafrancis.com with Francis spelled wrong, I-S instead of E-S. 
I almost bought it because it was also only $7, but I didn't buy it because I was like, no, I'll just buy Amanda Francis spelled right. But then I directed traffic to Amanda Francis spelled wrong for four years. By the time I bought the domain name, it was like $700 or something, and I was so annoyed because I made it spelled wrong increase its searchability until they were charging more for it. Isn't that annoying? So go ahead and buy the combinations of your name. I mean, I would. I should have sooner. Anyway, now I own them both, and if you type Francis in wrong, you still find me. Anyway, so my name is not Amanda Francis. So people call me Miss, like at this hotel, they're calling me Miss Francis. Francis is my last name at everything, from everything I do. Um, but my on my passport and driver's license, my last name is actually McKinney. But Amanda McKinney, how do I say this? And it's not that you have to change your name. It's that you have to embody who you want to be. It's have to, you have to embody who you truly are. It's not that Amanda McKinney isn't me. I love that that's my last name. I love that I share it with my family members. I'm good with it. But I left Amanda McKinney in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. You know what I mean? I left Amanda McKinney in a different part of my life. I left Amanda McKinney... Amanda McKinney didn't get here. Amanda Francis did. I, and, like, I've integrated who I was and who I am over the years, so it's not like conflicting emotionally, but it's just not how I identify myself. Does that make sense? So, and Frances is my grandmother's middle name, Mary Frances, Amanda Frances. I was named after her, and she's kind of a strong, strong badass lady who will tell you what she thinks about all the things. And there was so much I respected about her, and there was something I really liked about taking her name, so I did. And here we are, and then, but the point is, the point is, the point is, the point is, the point is. It's not about changing your name. It's about what embodies who you want to be. We teach this in my branding course. What fonts, what colors, what names, what slogans, what taglines feel and sound, not just like you, but feel and sound like the you you are becoming. Does that make sense? What embodies the you you are becoming? Okay, I'm sideways. I don't know how I got myself sideways, guys. I don't know how to get myself unsideways. Hold on, we're just gonna do. Uh oh, uh oh. It won't let it won't let me turn myself back the other way. So uh, we're gonna go like this for a minute. <laughs> yeah, and there's nothing wrong with being from anywhere. Like I say, I left her in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. There's nothing bad about Sand Springs, Oklahoma. It's just that that phase of my life embodies something that I am not anymore. You know what I mean? It reminds me of feeling like I couldn't get out of a place and I didn't know what I'd do with my life and I didn't want this kind of lifestyle. And I love either. being from where I'm from. But Amanda Francis was built by walking away from places and things that no longer served me. Amanda Francis was built by leaving towns and friend groups and PhD programs and ministry and therapy. Amanda Francis was built by walking away from things and move and elevating myself into the next things. That's how Amanda Francis was made.